Where's the lesson? Hello, hello! This is Miss Sam from 123A Math. And in this video, we're gonna write decimal numbers to the hundreds place. At the end of this video, I'm gonna leave a mathematical challenge to you and also I'm gonna send some shout outs. So stay tuned until the end. First of all, let's start with whole numbers. Whole numbers are made out of digits like one. This is the number one. This is the number 12. Hopefully you know these numbers. 123, 1238. All of those are whole numbers. But here we're gonna add decimals. Decimals mean that it's a part of a whole number. You don't have enough to make a whole number. I know it can be kind of confusing, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. In this video, we're going to create a number using five tenths, seven, four hundreds, ninety, and hundreds. So the first thing you need to know is analyze the word. As you can see, you see here five tenths. Do you notice anything about this word? If you say that it has a TH, you're on the right track. We have never seen tens with a TH. We usually have seen the word tens. For example, five tens is equivalent or equal to the number 50. In this case, we see five tenths and the TH let us know that those are decimal numbers. So we're gonna write our place value chart. I teach my kids to do it very simple. And in fourth grade, we go to the hundreds place. So we write decimal point TH. Most of you have seen decimal numbers when you go to the store. If you see this costs $1.29, those are decimal numbers. Or if you like to watch the Formula One races, you can see how the difference between one racer and another is two tens, 5.2 something. Those are decimal numbers. These are the tens. And these are the hundreds. As you can see, these two words also have the TH. So I tell my students the TH let you know that these are decimal numbers. Now to the left side of the decimal point, we have the ones like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Then we have the tens like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, so on. Hundreds. As you can see, these do not have TH. These are whole numbers. These are 100, 200, 300, etc. And we have the thousands. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, etc. Remember, how do we know if a number is decimal or whole number? If you said that decimals have the TH, yeah, you are on the right track. These two letters are gonna make your life so much simpler. Now let's start placing the five tenths. Do you see the TH? Yes, so we know that this is a decimal number. Am I gonna place it here with the tens? No, because these are whole numbers. I'm gonna erase this big place value chart and make it easier. This is how I do it. With other words, just using letters. It's very simple. Decimal TH, so I remember the TH from the decimals. And then I have my ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, so on. Now let's play the five tens. Do these go on the tens? No, these are decimals. So I'm gonna write the number five on the tens. 
tenths place. If you want to represent five tenths, it will be zero and five tenths. Five tenths. Next, we have the number seven. Seven, it's a whole number. Whole, it starts with the letter W. Many of my kids write whole, H-O-L-E, but whole is A-W-H-O-L-E. Seven is a whole number, and I'm gonna write it here. Just the number seven. You learned this in pre-K. Now, four hundredths, do you see the T-H? Yes, which means that these are decimals. Now let's play, let's place <laughs> four hundredths on the hundredths place. How do we write four hundredths by itself? Is zero, decimal point, zero tenths, and four hundredths. Remember, decimal TH. Four hundredths. If I write the four here on the hundredths place, it would be four hundredths, like the whole number. But in this case, we are writing four hundredths decimal value. Now, let me erase this. We have the number 90. Whole number or decimal? This is a whole number and I'm gonna place it on my tens place. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. 90. And last but not least, we have the 600s without the TH, which means that this is a whole number. I'm going to place it in the hundreds place. So now I'm going to read the number. The number is 697 and I forgot to tell you something. This decimal point has a name and its name is AND. So let's read this number together. 697 and 54 hundreds. Let's read it again. Let's make this easier for you guys. 697 and 54, 54 what? Hundreds. And that's it. As simple as that, we build a decimal number. Now you're going to have a mathematical challenge and leave in the comments your answer. Now it's your turn. I want you to build a number with five, two hundredths, three tenths. Write your answer in the comment section. I want to give shout outs to Banks and Alicia because they have been working extra hard on this new school year. So thank you for watching, leave your comments, and remember to subscribe, like, and share this video with other kids that are learning math. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.